we're here with Christian Torres, who's writing for the first time in Kentucky. What encouraged you to make the jump to Kentucky after the, your big Oakland meet? Yeah, uh, my we make the decision like month and a half before the meet was over in Oakland. We had a beautiful meet in Oakland, and um, my agent and I uh, thought that we was a good time to make a move to Kentucky and, and, and keep growing up. And and it's been great, you know, since move, we moved here, it's people are treating good, um, treating us well, and, and we're very excited to be here. Now you had a huge meet at Oaklawn, winning 100 races, or the, I think it's 100, maybe it was 103, 104, but you, you were also the fastest person to earn a million dollars in purses. In 11 days, you earned a million dollars in purses at an all dirt track. Now you're gonna be riding for the first time at an all grass track, Kentucky Downs. What, have, what do you know about Kentucky Downs? What have your fellow jockeys told you about Kentucky Downs? Uh, it's my first time in, in Kentucky Downs. A lot of people um, told me a lot of uh, good things about it. It's all grass. Um, I like the grass because you don't get too dirty. <laughs> but I'm very excited to be there and, and ride in, in, a, in, a, in a track like Kentucky Downs. And it's, you know, it's, everybody loves it. and, and very excited to be there. You know, it's going to be challenging, and, and, and I like challenges, so I'm ready for it. Have they told you anything about it having sort of a right-hand turn, that big second turn, and you actually turn right before you turn left? Uh, have they told you, any, you know, when it goes up and down? Yeah, it's, um, they told me it's very challenging now, like I said, and, and it's go up and down and backside, and it's a long, um, long turn, and um, they told me not to move early because it's a long stretch. You think it's going to be done, and then you still have a for long to go so um, I'm very excited to be there and, and, and very happy. Now last weekend you won the West Virginia Derby on Red Route 1 who's owned by Ron Winchell the co-owner of Kentucky Downs and who broke his maiden in his debut last year at Kentucky Downs on grass then he went to the dirt to pursue the Triple Crown races and now it looks like he's coming back for the Dueling Grounds Derby. What can you tell us about Red Route 1? That was the first time you'd ever ridden him I believe in the West Virginia Derby? No, I rode him in the Rebel in Oakland. That was the first time second. I rode him. Yeah, he finished second and he was way back. He made a nice big run like he usually do. It. And uh, he's a, a really nice horse. I love the way he runs. I love that he gave 100% every time he goes out. So um, I watched his, um, the race when he broke his maiden on Kentucky Downs. Now he's gonna be running over there again, back to the to the grass, but he already had their experience. So I'm very happy to be riding. Um, hopefully I can ride him back and, and um, hopefully we can get another win with him. He came from out of it in the in the West Virginia Derby as he has been his races. Does he run like a turf horse to you? Do you think that? Yeah, he's a, he's a horse that he, he, he moved like a turf horse, but he proved that he can run any surface. Um, he's a, you just gotta let him be, you know, let him get in his own pace the first part of the race and he'll pick it up um, later on the race. He, he knows what he has to do, so, and I'm very, I'm very grateful with Mr. Sivas Musin and, and Ron Winchell for giving me the opportunity to ride him.